Go ahead, Gary, kick it off for it. Look, I was just going to. <laughs> well, good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Gary Lindner, and alongside my wonderful co-host and presenter for this evening, Sherry Danzig, we'd like to extend a warm welcome to each of you for joining us on Nikan Brand Night. Uh, we're thrilled to have you here. Uh, these presentations are designed to introduce you to the Nikan brand, exploring how our products can profoundly impact your well-being. We'll dive into why so many of us have chosen to align with Nikan for our wellness solutions. Whether you're new to Nikan or already familiar with our offerings, we believe you'll find value in what we share tonight. So let's embark on this journey to a better and healthier life together. I'd like to introduce Sherry Danzig. She will be presenting tonight. Sherry has a background in massage therapy. She's been a Nikan wellness entrepreneur uh, I think for the same amount of time I have, 27 years. Uh, she is an expert in the product line and everything that is Nikan. So with that, uh, Sherry, take it away. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. Great to be with you all tonight. And we are talking about such an important part of our brand, which is our sleep technology. And as we go through this presentation, I think you're going to find out why it's so important. I love this quote. I I. I speak to it every time I talk about sleep because it really kind of says it all. This is Dr. Um, Dement, who is the kind of the grandfather of sleep. He, he was one of the early sleep researchers. I'm going to read this quote because it's so important that healthy sleep has been empirically proven to be the single most important determinant in predicting longevity. Hello, how long you will live. It's more important than diet exercise, and heredity. So if you're thinking that, eh, sleep, you know, some days I get it, some days I don't, think again. So how do you, hang on one second, how do you, how did you sleep last night? That's a big question. And every night that you don't sleep well has an impact. So you want to be thinking about that. Did you get enough sleep? Did you go to bed at the right time? Was your sleep environment conducive to getting good sleep? Those are good questions to be asking. So sleep deficiency, it's a big thing. The CDC is has been finally focused on it. You know, for most of my lifetime, nobody ever was talking about sleep. Medical community wasn't paying attention to sleep, but they are now. And they know that this is the, the most critical thing in terms of preventative health. Whoever has it unmuted, uh, please do mute your your um yeah Did you do that gary so it's become a global epidemic of sleeplessness people are not sleeping um enough they're not sleeping well there's about 50 percent of the population that's that's um thought of that is is having sleep issues so look at this chart here I, I think what's really important to know is, I mean, you can see that the U.S. is down there on the bottom, that the average is is sleeping about six and a half hours a night. Um, but what's really required is at least seven and a half hours of sleep. And I, you know, I talk to people a lot about sleep and they say, well, you know, I get four hours or so. And it, that is absolutely not the case. Um, it will catch up with you. You're going to find out why in just a moment. But look at this, what poor sleep can create. Obviously, fatigue, that makes sense. But it affects heart disease, weight gain, diabetes. We'll come back to that in a second. Um, anxiety, stroke, kidney disease, cancers. It, it just raises the risk factor because your body is not getting the sleep that it needs. Therefore, it's not getting the time for the body to truly repair itself. Um, what One of the statistics that really grabbed me is that one night of sleeping less than seven or even, well, let's say six hours of sleep, sleeping less than six hours, you wake up and you're a pre-diabetic the next morning. So it affects your brain. Lack of sleep affects the brain from making new memories. It de decreases the immune efficiency by 70%. So again, this is waking up after not having um, a great night's sleep. Your body is, is more likely to get sick, to be affected by what's going around, viruses and all, all of that, because your immune system is not working as well. So 
what's the problem? What does it cause? Well, before we get into the problem, I love this slide because I think it's so fascinating to really look at this whole sleep cycle and to understand what's happening. There's the first stage is where you're starting to fall asleep. The second stage is, I mean, that's just where you're kind of, you know, in that waking this to getting to sleep. And then your, your body starts to slow down, your heart rate slows down. And then when you get to stage three, that's Delta sleep. That's when your body is doing its all its repair work. So it's in that stage. And then you move into the pre REM sleep and then REM sleep. And we hear a lot about REM sleep. That's when your, your brain is really getting, well, it's when your brain is getting cleansed. That's when it's detoxing. Your brain literally shrinks. I think that is so cool to kind of clean out the proteins and things that get clogged in your brain. So if you don't stay in these stages, if you don't go through these stages and you really should go through them five times a night, that's the seven and a half hours of sleep. So if you miss that, then you're disrupting it. You're not, your body's not getting the reparative work it needs to. The brain's not getting the reparative work. You wake up and you're not, your brain's not functioning. Your body hasn't repaired itself. So I just really want you to see this because this is a lot of detail, but it really brings home the point of what is happening. And what happens is if you, your sleep gets interrupted, and we're going to go into that in just a second. If your sleep gets interrupted and you wake up, you don't come back to where you left off. You start over again at the first stage. And so then you have to go back. So a lot of times you're just never getting into REM sleep if your sleep gets interrupted a lot. So different ways, what things that can interrupt sleep, it can just be that you've got discomfort in your body. It can be that you're too hot, you're too cold, you're having breathing issues, um, you're stressed out, you can't really relax. So all of these things can impact. There's other things as well. But these are some of the things that we can really control. So great quality sleep. What does it do? Well, we know it's going to it's going to provide the foundation so that your body can do its reparative work. And this is a great quote going back to the fifth century that sleep is the only medicine that gives ease. So it makes sense that without sleep, there's more likely the, the function or the, the, the presence of dis-ease. So let's look here. We really want to dive in tonight on what Niken offers. And I love this slide. It looks kind of magical, doesn't it? Kind of mystical with all the kind of starry, starry night kind of a thing. But I want you to look at this is the sleep fit. And this is our sleep system. And so we have magnetic technology that replicates the Earth's natural energy. Your body needs energy at night when you're sleeping because there's a lot of functions going on while you're sleeping. You're getting orthopedic support. You're getting massage nodules. And hey, for me, being a massage therapist for about 35 years now, how would you like it if you went to sleep and you got a passive massage throughout the night, right? Sounds pretty good. That's what you get with this, with this sleep system. You get this reflective um, uh, fibers that's in the comforter. And we're really kind of focusing on the fit, but the but the comforter has this reflective fibers that helps to regulate your body temperature. And that's one of the things that can interrupt your sleep. If you get too hot, too cold, you keep going back and forth. So in this within the sleep system, you're cocooned with technology that helps to regulate your perfect body temperature. And that allows you to sleep deeper and longer. The tourmaline is um, releases negative ions, which gives you a sense of peace. Peace. It just makes you feel good, like when you're walking in nature. Um, it's environmentally responsible materials, which is really good to know. It means that there's not all these toxins that you have to worry about. Um, they're safe. They're responsible. And so the whole system is designed. It's the the science of 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 sleep combined with the the wisdom of nature. So this is biomimicry, that wisdom of, of, of nature at its finest. So, you know, there's so many different things that we are asked to do to, to change our lifestyle that can be tough things, you know, just cut out sugar, you know, eat less fat, eat, eat less carbs, exercise more, all these things that are really hard things sometimes to do, right? This is, this is kind of a no brainer. You simply invest in this environment and then you crawl into bed and you let the technology do what it's, it's designed to do. I think that's pretty cool. 
So again, the, the fit is a mattress topper that has corners that are fitted corners, kind of like a mattress cover, and you put it over your mattress. Now, I've had some customers that sleep on a king, but they're a single person, and so they might even get a twin, and they just fit the corners on the side that is to the edge, and then they lay it flat. So however you make this work, you've got the ability to have a twin Uh, a queen or a king. Um, to, oh, and a full also, sorry. T a twin, a full, a queen, and a king size. And you've got the magnetic technology, the tourmaline, the bioceramic fibers. It's, it's really just amazing. And it's light. You can pack it up and take it with you wherever you go. Oops. So, We want to, we always like to end these um, brand night presentations about the products to really invite you that are here that are not already a part of our wellness community to join it. You can join as a uh, wellness enthusiast, as a customer, and start right away um, investing in getting great sleep. And I will say um, we're still in October, in the month of October, there is a tremendous promotion going on. of 20% off on just about every one of the sleep technologies, including those for a baby, an infant in a crib, or for a your, your fur baby. And it's also free shipping. So jump on this, share this with people you know that aren't sleeping great before, the, um, before November because th there's a great sale going on. And then a little bit of homework here is you can... Pull your phone up here and have the QR code so that you can um, connect to, you can get the Connect with Nature video and watch that, which goes into the whole Wellness Home Technologies, as well as this beautiful magazine that Dr. Gary and Heather have put together for you, which is also how do you connect with nature. And so that's, um, there's two QR codes that you can, I'm going to give you just a second to grab those, and then you've got some homework to, to, for yourself and also to share. Okay, so before we stop the video, because we're going to stop the video in just a moment and allow other people to be able to, to share stories and ask questions, but I, I'm going to share my own personal story because this is really what got me to um, jump into Niken and embrace it as I have 27 years ago. Um, I was a massage therapist, got massage every week because I traded with somebody I went to school with. Um, I felt I was pretty healthy. I'd been active all my life. And uh, I was a mother of three little girls. At the time, my oldest was eight and my twins, well, not quite eight, and my twins were four when I got started. And so for about four years, I'd been struggling with a back issue, probably longer than that, because when I was carrying twins, I don't know if you've seen anybody, a woman carrying twins, but your back is pretty wonky because your belly is out to it's not natural right so I developed a back issue and it's kind of normal when you have when you're pregnant with twins you're going to probably have some back issues but what was not normal is it just never went away I still was struggling and kept struggling for years so I was a mom of three little girls and wanting to run around and be active and get on the floor and play with them and I'm a massage therapist and I was very busy uh, I was a very busy massage therapist so I was embarrassingly um, not following my own advice because I was standing on a pedestal telling my clients you know to use natural ways to stretch and use ice and heat and things and not be reaching for the pill bottle for your aches and discomforts But I had gotten so frustrated and I really just was at a place where I couldn't deal with my everyday life. And I had turned myself into what I called a Motrin junkie. I was carrying a giant bottle um, of Motrin and, carry, and taking it so often it was tearing up my stomach. And I had to be on a medicine because of that. So I had stomach issues and back issues and I was embarrassed I really felt like I was out of integrity. So that was the reason I was looking for something when a friend introduced me to this and I jumped on it, not understanding magnets, not understanding if this was going to help, but I was a desperate person. And when you're desperate, you'll do just about anything. I ordered the mattress topper and it came in on my birthday um, 27 years ago. And um, I 
you know, the rest is history. I woke up the next morning. Well, I would wake up feeling like an 80 year old woman. And I woke up the first morning and I felt much more mobile. I could move my body. I didn't have that stiffness where I was afraid if I moved wrong, I would go into a full blown um, spasm, which was oftentimes the case. And I honestly didn't believe it at first. I thought I had just placeboed myself and just wished it. I was happy about it, but I still was very suspicious. And then I got a massage, which I got every week, I traded with the same person. And my massages hurt like hell, to be honest. Um, we worked deeply on each other. And I kept asking her, you're not working on me as deeply in that massage. This was about four days after I'd been on the sleep system. And I kept saying, you can't be working on me as deeply because and she said, I'm doing the same thing. We'd been working on each other for years. My body had calmed down in those four or five days, four or five nights. And that really got my attention. And so that was the thing that got me started on this. Um, and at the time, Niken didn't have a lot of the products they have today. We've, those of us that have been around for a couple of decades have watched as the product line has expanded. But the sleep system was always the foundation for me. And I'm happy to say that I changed the way that I talk to my clients. Before I had that experience, I never asked any of my clients about how they slept. And then I started asking everybody how they slept because I started realizing the impact of your health on everything based on how you sleep. So I wanted to share that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the, the video and then we'll open it up and you can unmute yourself if you'd like to share.